Howdy, partners. Welcome to Red Dead Redemption 2. And I can't take it anymore. <laughs> So Arthur does have some self-preserving instincts. That's interesting. Yeah. So he won't just kill himself. Alright. So we are. Could we got a couple question marks on the map? Should we go see? I think so. Hey, am I gonna get myself shot straight away? Straight off the bat, I'm gonna get myself shot. Ah, excuse me, but yeah. What? <laughs> Listen, bit of a weird question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Uh, Moonshine. So. No, strong liquor. Over strong. Wow, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. There's plenty of real booze here. But for shine, well, I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Now listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Oh, shine? Oh, yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh, all right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> hundred gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. It's for a good cause. Well, <laughs> if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, it'll be that stagecoach guy in Rhodes. Sorry about that. Hey. We'll park that one for later. Coming through. Move. There's another question mark over here. Huh? What's oh, the run? Jesus, sorry dude. God, you gotta be really careful. Let everyone just shut up. It's a road. I'm 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 riding my horse on a road and people are just into the road like they don't give a damn. This guy, you're an idiot. Who let the simpleton out of the asylum? Get off the road, you idiot. Yeah, that's gonna get me into trouble. What's going on in here? Can I? Can't see. There you can see. Hey, buy me a drink, mon ami. Sure, what you want? Brandy! Two brandies, bud. We drinks for everybody. Two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good then. Mm. It's the best. Oh. God, Saint Denis is really expensive, Santé. isn't it? Jesus. Santé. <laughs> ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally? Hmm? I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. No, I was going to say that. Very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I, I pose, I show off, I complain. How very friend. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies. Um, how do you say? What? All ass. Mm? Asshole. Mm. That too. That too. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? All the civilized world, painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No, I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you paint. Not according to salons at Paris, no. According to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Mmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Mm. I guess so. Mm. You know, uh... Arthur. Charles, you know, Arthur, don't believe in art. Mm. It's lies. Believe in women. They're the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina 
That is truth. Breasts is truth. Art. It's for idiots. You say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better. Much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. <laughs> well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm, no matter. Good meeting you. Mm. <laughs> it's a weird encounter. Okay, I'm glad I did that. It's, uh... Yeah. Okay, what have we got on the map? Let's have a looky here. So we got we could got Dutch's main mission. Is this something else? Maybe Beth. What does she want? Needs to speak to me. Let's go see Dutch. We're closer to Dutch, so we go see Dutch. Dutchy boy. Oh. Should I just ride my horse in here? Is this going to be rude? Am I going to get arrested for this? Oh, apparently I can't. I'm going to be forced off. <laughs> Bring my horse with me. I need my guns. Hey guys, how's it going? There you are. Uh, you know, the boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much, just that he's some slick little greasy haired European. Clearly got power money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place. Boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, he's gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm him. Trust me. This is the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I it's guess. <laughs> I didn't look wait. Didn't look up Excuse anymore. me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? <laughs> Ow. Get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh. Great charming job. Run along now, boy. How to make friends and influence people. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. He gets himself shot. <laughs> Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. You could just take us to the basement and just shoot us. I mean, problem solved. I mean, Nathan. Chi sono sti buffoni? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some 
inbred ex-slavers, it ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we we most surely were ignorant of. You, you, you twist words. You lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. <laughs> Not the best woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderland. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur. Uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> Just change my answer, please. Uh, so, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> But uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Oh, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> He's the voice I love guy. this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Linde. You tell me more about my manners. <laughs> he sounds exactly like Ricardo Montalban. Salute. But he's dead. Salute. You know, Khan from Star Trek 2? I'm going to have to look up who that was, but Jesus, that sounded exactly like Ricardo Montalban. Hell's heart, I stab at thee. robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. I just realised I wasn't actually paying attention to what he's saying. I was too busy trying to work out who, he's, who that voice reminded me of. You know where the cemetery is? Jesus. I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. Watch what you, out! What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? I don't know. Well, this is going weird. Here. Screw it. Stupid horse. You're stupid horse. There you go. Have something to eat. Let's yeah. go quickly brush my house. This way. Yep, oh, hey, have I got a shotgun on me? No, I have Thank you a lot. There's my daddy. There's my daddy of a gun. And you absolutely have to kill every motherfucker. Use a shotgun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, there's a lot of dead people in there. Let's see what's going on in here. Stay quiet. We don't want to spook them. Ducks to my right. Far. Let's keep going. <laughs> One Voice. more time comes, Arthur. Make sure they put me deep in the ground. With pleasure. 
place gives me the chills. I think I missed. Should have gone back. Damn it. Where was that? I've never seen lamps in it. I thought I saw someone. Did I see someone walk this way? Clean off. Find the stash. Gotta be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. Hey, where was that? Back here on Robin Grave Robbers. We've hit the big time. Was it? Ah, god damn it. Let's quickly check that spot where it all kicked off. I know, I'm trying to find it. It's down here, wasn't it? It's here. Like I said, uh, let's wait. look around where they jumped. <sighs> okay, fine. This isn't where they jumped us, but fair enough. We'll have a look around here then. What am I looking for? We can't go back to Bronte with nothing to show for it, Arthur. It might be. I think there might be something in here. <sighs> Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. This isn't where they jumped us. Damn, the law's here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. Okay, let's get out of here. We don't want to go. Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn it. I start killing cops. This is all gonna go bad. Am I sneaking here, so actually? There's someone coming. Hide. I found a body. Looks fresh. Still bleeding. It must just been killed. They're still here. Wait a minute. He said he's found a body in the graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all these bodies I found. There's there must be hundreds of them. It's not the way it's great. Come on. Stay together. Uh. It's like the old joke, isn't it? A 
four-seater light aircraft crashed into a graveyard, according to local reports. So far, they've discovered 500 bodies, and the investigation is still ongoing. <laughs> sick, it's sick. Making fun of the dead. I'm actually going to make it out of here without killing anybody. Kill one of these cops just for a laugh. It's all gonna go kick off big time, isn't it? Come on, quick. Let's get back to Dutch. Why is my horse always taking a dump? It's like a diarrhea problem, so. Looks like we lost him for now. Get out of the road, you idiot! Let's just get there. You're making trouble. Will you get I'm only joking with you. Well, that ain't my deal. Well, it's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. Okay, okay. Right. Let's get the old horse. Let's get this done. Are we gonna get betrayed here? I think so. Come on, John. Get your ass off that horse. Come on, Arthur. Say to us. Well, okay. you took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you <laughs> took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank you Mr. Bronte you for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Come on. You know, Arthur. Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. I'm gonna go to a garden party. Time to go, boy. Might have to have a bath and wash up. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son! Everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama! They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Yeah. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. Jump I got up. my son back! Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so, well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John? You go be with your family. Arthur. Thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. Shave it up, boss. We got Jack back. Well, <laughs> Jack's boy back. safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Yeah. Well done. Job well done. Okay, until next week, we should do some more fun stuff. Until then, adios. How about a song? Oh, oh, yeah. Out of the air. <laughs> Play us away.
I never noticed this before, I have something to eat here before I die. I gotta drink myself into stupor. Why she throws the bowl on the floor? What's this? Oh well. That was just a bowl of beer. If it's whiskey, I can get myself drunk really fast, but beer? Yeah, it's gonna take a while. Spot the alcoholic. He's not getting drunk, is he? Okay. Adios.